Next up is listening to too many people. So I do see many young athletes that are constantly changing what they're doing by listening to too many people, especially coaches. And I have spoken about having a good filter. So in the last podcast, 10 Habits of Successful Athletes, I spoke about having a good filter. And this is where if you're listening to too many people and you take on all of that information, you're constantly changing what you're doing. And you need a little bit of time to develop what you're doing. So if you go and try out a new technique in your sport, let's say, and you have two coaches, you might have someone that's your club coach, you might have even a representative coach, like a county coach here in the UK, or you might have additionally a school coach. So you may have three coaches that you're working with, right? They're all going to have their own different ways of dealing with things and and coaching you as an athlete. So if one of them gives you something to work on and you start to see it working, or You start to see it working, then you have a session where it just doesn't work, or you perhaps even do a session where a coach that hasn't given you that new thing to work on sees you doing it and questions it and actually says, well, why are you doing that? Why why don't you go and try this? And then you listen to that and change. You don't know whether that's actually knocking you off a path towards the place you want to go to, the development that you're seeking, because you do have to have a period of time where you're working towards something and it takes time to develop. It takes that failure. It takes that mistakes to get there. So if you're taking too quick a time or if you're you're giving yourself too short a period of time to develop and then you're just hearing someone else's opinion and then just changing it straight away, you may not actually develop at all. You may not get that or really slow it down because you're constantly changing. So when you're listening to too many people, it's it can be difficult. So it's worthwhile just listening to everyone, yes, but then having that filter. Have that filter where, or the courage to say to that coach, look, my other coach has given me this. I, I feel really strongly that this is working. I'd like it if you could just jump on board with me. Then you're ultimately putting it back on the coach and it's up to the coach then to figure out whether they are happy to go along with that. Maybe they communicate with the other coach. You set up a a call or a text message exchange so that the two coaches can exchange ideas. You ultimately want to have them both on the same page. If If you don't do that, you perhaps leave a place where the coaches, because every coach wants to to feel like they're the one that comes up with the ideas and they're the ones that make that big change. And that's a challenge. But if you can bring everyone on the same page, the ultimate goal for each of those coaches is to develop you as the athlete. So their ultimate goal should feel about developing you. I think of a film, um, I think it's called Fighter with Mark Wahlberg, a great film about Mickey Ward. And there's a part in the film where his, he's got a new trainer, and but his brother was his, his old trainer. And he really likes both trainers. He really worked well with his brother, but his brother's got a really tough history. And then there's this part in the film where Mark Wahlberg, who's playing Mickey Ward, just says, look, I want everyone. I want all of us to work on the same page. And eventually he gets everyone to work on the same page and then he goes into a fight to win. And that's really what you want. You want everyone that's coaching you, especially if you have multiple coaches, to work with you on the same page. And if you are listening to too many people but not communicating that it's confusing you, that's where challenges fall in. So try to bring everyone on the same page, try to make sure you do have a good filter if you're not willing to have that conversation. But I would encourage you to have that conversation with your coaches, with those people. It takes some courage and bravery and it may be an uncomfortable conversation to have and to feel, but that's where we want to be. That's the things that we want to try and and get to. So... (laughs) 